it's Sunday afternoon. I kind of slept in a lot. Holy shit, I do apologize. But I'm on vacation, so I'm allowed to do that. Well, today I need to friggin' snip my lawn, get that all toned down and things, and then uh, definitely have a shower. I also want to run to the beer store and get a case because I have no liquor in the house except for what I got for jewels. And um, yeah, and then uh, I don't know what the hell we're gonna do today. Like I said, Rex wanted to go for a romp this morning, but I got up this afternoon, so chances are he went for a romp with Iron Man on the bikes. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Anyway, people, we gotta get this day started. I need a friggin' coffee, because I haven't even had one yet. I literally got up, like, maybe 20 minutes ago. Uh, dropped the wicked dookie, and then here I am. Here I am to rock and roll a night and day. Oh, yeah, welcome to my vlog. the Keurig Chacho to coffee and then we'll be good to go and you know uh, a couple days ago there was a comment uh, pretty early in the vlog and somebody said I heard a weird noise at 059 and what you heard was the Keurig finishing my coffee right when it's at it's like last second of making the coffee it makes just like <laughs> sound like you, you well you heard it that and then uh, yeah when it's done it makes that same sound but the sounds really even worse so you know what I might also do let's make some bacon sandwiches so instead of making it a bacon sandwich because I just I had this shit for, for uh, a couple days there and yeah oh shit it takes five seconds to cook that I put it in for a lot longer than five seconds uh oh I, I better I better deal uh oh my oh, frigate. Alrighty, well, I'm done making my sandwiches. Uh, basically, this is what we got. It's just a bacon egg sandwich. So I made two of those with that ready shit bacon. Yeah, it's pretty crappy. Apparently, I was supposed to put one slice in for like five seconds and it's cooked. That doesn't sound right, but whatever. So I made two of those and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Frig yeah. Now I'm just gonna make my coffee. Freaking Oreo was trying to trip me up the stairs to get to my bacon sandwich. Little bastard. Alrighty, people, I ate my sandwich. I ate my, uh, drank my coffee. Ate my coffee. Yeah, I ate my coffee. Um, and Need to strap on a belt. We're gonna head to the beer store. Maybe go over to the grocery store, get some something to cook for supper tonight, and then uh, go from there. So let's uh, pitter patter and have at her. I also got the GoPro on charge, in case anybody's wondering. You know, for the uh, lawnmower video, Oreo thinks he's coming with me. He's super not, because I got to go in the stores, and I'm not leaving him in the car because that's highly illegal. You don't do that. But I will let him out for a potty, and then uh, go from there. Only the problem I'm having right now with the lawnmower video that I'm about to make is. I I can't find my friggin' voice recorder. So, come back in, dude. You already went for crap this morning, so, yeah. Yeah, I have no idea where the hell my voice recorder is, so, uh, when I'm doing the, uh, mowing vlog, I won't be doing a mowing vlog, I'll just be doing a lawn mow, unless the voice recorder's in this car. Otherwise, it's just gonna be your standard shindig. Oh, well, let's go to the beer store, get a case, and then come home and mow that lawn. That desperately needs it. All right, let's go. It's going to be a little bumpy one today, people, but uh, we'll make it through. So I was chatting with Jules there. Uh, she gave me a call at around, I'm going to say 2.30, maybe 3. Well, I was eating my bacon sandwich, my egg bacon sandwich. And uh, she is currently at home with sick kids. Last night, like I said, she had to run out and go pick up one of her kids who was having a sleepover. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, whatever her daughter had brought it home to share with the rest of them because this morning all the kids woke up and they were super sick including uh, her daughter's friend who slept over last night she was critically ill too well not critically ill but she was sick too apparently everybody was blowing chunks over there Jules even said she had an upset stomach I, I'm fine this morning so I didn't get infected and you know like last night her daughter when she came home she comes over to me and gives, and gives me a hug and holy crap, she was freezing. She had no body temperature, she was not feeling well. And I was like, oh my God, are you okay? And she goes, no, no, I don't feel good at all. So she ended up crashing out on the couch. And then uh, this morning they all woke up and they're all sharing the friggin' the toilet, you know, praying to the porcelain god. That's kind of brutal. Not too good. Not sure if I'll be going over there today with them like that because I'm on vacation and I don't want to get sick. You know, save that for when I'm working. Ha! But uh, yeah, it's kind of insane to get uh, to have everybody get infected. Thank God it happened on a weekend because unlike me, Jules only has X amount of sick days. I work for, well, everybody above me 
We have unlimited sick days. We're on the managerial salary sick day plan. So we can call in sick as much as we want and still get paid for it. Everybody below me, they call in sick and uh, they lose it. It gets taken off their pay. So we're grandfathered in, not a big deal. Not a big deal indeed. So. Frig sakes, frig sakes. Tomorrow's a holiday anyway, so not a big deal there either. So her kids will be off tomorrow too. It sucks for her because tomorrow's her actual Monday off that she normally gets from work. And this time around, mind you, she gets paid for it because she's not there. So even though she's not scheduled to work, it, she should still get paid for it. So that's not too shabby. But anyway, I need to rock the beer store. The beer store, because that's hardcore. You dizzy 1969 people, hot coat. Freak sakes, my friggin' signal light's broken. The switch is annoying on this thing. This car is like in my zone. No, oh, that's about as far in as I'm going. All right, so I'm gonna rock the beer store, grab a case, and then uh, head over to the grocery store and grab some food. Yeah, it looks like the beer store is pretty freaking packed. Everybody's buying beer right now. Son of a bitch. All right, well, let's rock and roll. All righty, people, we're done shopping. We grabbed everything we needed. Beer store wasn't that bad, actually. I shouldn't, I shouldn't say it was a bad experience. And the other girl working the cash was like bang on with her uh, speed and ordering styles and everything. Like she was like taking three orders at a time and you had two monkeys in the back just totally, totally fetching the shit out of the beers. So that's not too bad. But anyway, right now we gotta go. I'm gonna go home. I gotta move the romper out of the way and get the mower out. And uh, I don't know where my voice recorder is. I, I question if I left it at work. Like, <laughs> I have no idea where it is. So, I'm just gonna strap the GoPro to the mower's mount and we'll just do a super time last lawnmower, I guess. Like, honestly, don't know what else we can do here. Oh, that's one thing I hate about SUVs. You can't see around behind these big trucks, eh? Like, this car sits pretty low to the ground, so I'm already at a disadvantage, and uh, you know. Anyway, how about a 2 4 James Ready? That should last me till the weekend easily, because I don't really drink that much. So, uh, let's go home, move some shit around, get the mower out, and hit that backyard, and then we'll uh, hit the front yard with the push mower. And it's freaking hot out right now, people. Holy shazbot. I love those new Ford Fusions now. That's pretty bad, they grew on me. My only question is, is are they as bad on gas as my G6? Like if I buy another car, I'm going for fuel economy, not anything else. I also really like the Ford Focus and Dodge Dart. Holy shit. An Ecoped pulling three people. She was mesmerized by the Ecoped. I feel sorry for the friggin' spur gear on that Ecoped. Oh, you can hear my bags in the back seat just rustling away. Just every day they're rustling, skeetle deedle deedle doo, you know. One of those. Yeah, originally I was gonna get a 15 pack of Canadian, but then I was like, you know what? Let's get a two for a freaking JR. It's like 22 bucks for 15 or, or 29 for 32 or for 24. So I was like, you know what? We'll go back to the cheap beer, get some freaking James Ready. I like that kind, it tastes pretty good. And, then we'll go home, we'll mow that lawn, and then have a shower, and then maybe barbecue some supper, and then I'll text Jules and see if she's still pretty dicked over with sicknesses, or if she's fine there now, and then maybe we'll head over to Jules' house and hang out there for the night and stuff, and you know, just take her easy. Rex wanted to go romping today, but I guess he forgot that he told uh, Iron Man that he was gonna go romping with him. And I kinda woke up at like 2.30, so that's no good, you know? It's kinda sort of a lot no good. So I posted a picture to my uh, Facebook. I meant to post it on my friggin' Northern Life page, but I posted it to my personal Facebook. It's a picture of me sitting on a V-Strom motorbike. And I got some rather interesting comments. People saying, damn, that's awesome. That looks great, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And then other people commenting that that bike is not my style, that I should get a cruiser. Actually, Jay the Redneck One said I should get a Vulcan. I think that's Yamaha, I'm not sure. It could be Kawasaki for all I know. But that's what he said is I should get a Vulcan or a Harley Davidson or blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. The main thing is, is I'm looking at either an Enduro or a Sports Touring because for me to get a Cruiser, the size I'd have to get 
would make my insurance so friggin' expensive. A 650 Touring bike or a 650 Enduro would have enough snaws to pull me around. So with like a 600cc cruiser. But they're so small framed that I'd look like a friggin' like, like Rex calls it, a dog fucking a football, you know? So I gotta go for something big. So honestly, that's why I'm looking at the B-Strom because that bike was pretty, pretty beefy and it fit me well and it felt good. I liked it a lot. I liked the way you sit on it and everything. It just felt great. So yeah, I, that's why I'm thinking B-Strom. But I got plenty of time before I'm going to buy. So it was just there. Rex is like sit on it and things and then finally I let him talk me into it and I did. So anyway, people, I'm almost home. So we're going to get home. We're going to friggin' bring this shit in the house and put stuff in the fridge and needs to go in the fridge get out there and get the romper out of the way and then get the uh, the mower all ready to rock and freaking rock the shit out of that thing it's gonna be awesome let's pitter patter and have at her you know for brand new rotors they sure rust out pretty quickly freak sakes piece of shit that was an expensive job too all right people got the gopro mounted to the uh the Dynamark here, I just gotta get this Dynamark out of the way, move my impact, and I'll put the impact uh, over, over, over here. That'll be not fine, really not fine. Now it's fine. Yeah, these tires are kind of wampus. Move my friggin' puller thingy. We'll put that uh, up on the bench for now. Get this FW1, crusty left, this one is here. Never came back to pick it up, so whatevs. Get some other shit off the ground. Put that over here for now. And can and filter out of the way. Flop it up there for now, perfect. And my kneeling cardboard. We'll just fire that over there, perfect. So we'll get this thing out of the way, then we'll get that thing out here, and then we'll go and uh, mow the lawn. So let's put a pattern and have that. Yay! All right, let's take this beast out and go and trim some friggin' grass around the house. Uh, where's my safety glasses? I always wear safety glasses when operating a weed whacker. Shit flies everywhere. This little thing does nothing. There. Lawns are mowed. Lawns are mowed. Frig yeah. Cleaned up all this area here. It's mostly just grass clippings, but Oreo should have no problems pooping on the lawn now. There's a spot back there where I got too close to the ground and I destroyed all the grass. Oh well, whatevs. Alrighty people, well, I had a shower, I'm all cleaned up. The vlog is all edited up until this point, so that'll make work a lot easier tonight. However, right now, 
I need to clean off my cupboard or my uh, counter and then we got to get to work on chopping up some veggies so let's pitter patter and have at her. Alrighty we got green peppers, red peppers, mushrooms. I'm gonna wrap this up and it's going straight on the barbie and then we're going to throw these two in the barbie as well and that hopefully should be pretty damn tasty so let's pitter patter and have at her. Alrighty propane's turned on um, before I do anything, I'm going to pop that grill off and clean that bottom thing. There, that looks a bit more pro, so we'll get a nice big flame going here, kick on the secondary burner, close the lid, let her heat up. Look at how fast that thing heats up, eh? Like it, this is the reason why I still have three quarters of a tank of propane left, because it doesn't take long for this thing to get hot. Once she gets up the temperature, you kick her down on low, and it'll hold the temperature all day long, so not really a big deal. All right, well, we're sitting at uh, 400 in Fahrenheit right now, so we're good. All right, people, well, I'm just barbecuing away here, but there's something I wanted to say. I'm not sure if the link's in the description. If it isn't, I'll put it in there. But I'm on Instagram, if you guys wanted to, you know, hook up to my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. If it's not there, it'll be down with all the t-shirts and other channels. And shut up, dog. Frig sakes. But um, I'll put the link in the description if you want to check that out and, you know, follow me and stuff. And... If you guys take pictures on Instagram, I'll follow you too and things, and uh, we can like freaking have fun on Instagram, making pictures and things, and apparently now you can make videos, so I've been doing that a lot, making stupid videos on there because only 15 seconds long, and <coughs> it's weird, you gotta press and hold the record button to make it record properly and things, and I don't know, I find that kind of dicked, but uh, that's probably just me thinking that, but um, yeah, but anyway, I'm just barbecuing the piss out of my food here, so it's gonna be awesome, awesomer than frig. Alrighty, all done with the queue. I got my meat, I got my freaking veggies. I'm gonna bring this in the house and then we're going to uh, plate it, eat it, and head over to Jules. Let's go. Honestly, I could just eat the vegetables without the steak because that looks freaking delicious. So I'm gonna go drive this into my face and then we're gonna head over to Jules' house. Let's put a batter and have at her, people. Alrighty, people, while well, I'm done eating my food, I'm gonna head over to Jules' house. Apparently, the kids are bugging to find out when I'm gonna come over. When am I gonna go over and hang out? It's already like, holy crap, it's 10 after 8. I gotta go. I got things. Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm at Jules. Look, you can tell. No. She's right there. She's also on Instagram if you want to go follow her, but a lot of you already did. Did they already? Oh, yeah. I, I just did that really, really quickly. Yeah, you already got like like 30 followers or something. If you check it, it's, it's hilarious. How do you even check to see that? I don't know Because I clicked on stuff. your name and it showed me like you have like a whole bunch of followers and I'm like, holy <laughs> crap, you just built that thing. I don't even have a single picture on so. it. Yeah, but you made the mistake of commenting on my on my my video. Yeah, but I like your video. I know, I know. But when you did that, a lot of people went over and ran over and went, "Hey, how's it going?" So awesome. She's on Instagram. I'm on Instagram. I'll put her link in the description too if you want to go follow her. She might <laughs> might take some pictures and then you know Instagram them up and stuff. Yeah, my kids do some pretty. Hey, 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 sneaking up on you. Oh, no, we're under attack. Yeah. So, anyway, people, uh, I don't you know what we're care. doing today, but we're doing stuff. So, peace out. <laughs> Oh my. Alrighty people, well, it's midnight. I'm gonna head her home and uh, we're gonna go from there. So let's pitter patter and have at her people. Yeah, we ended up watching that movie Mulan. That was actually not too bad. I didn't mind that one. It was a Disney movie, yeah, about a, a girl and her dad uh, gets called into the army or something. And basically he has to, uh, go and fight but he's not exactly in top-notch physical shape so the daughter basically chops her hair off and becomes a boy. It's Disney. Anything's possible with Disney. But it was a pretty good movie. I, I didn't mind it too much. It was alright. And um, then we just kind of hung out and stuff. Kids went to bed and we just sat on the back patio and smoked cigarettes and reminisced about the old times. Pretty good night. Pretty good night. So it's currently like midnight. Oreo should be just waiting for me to come home because he's probably all like sad puppy like where's my where's, where's Adam? Where's Adam? I miss Adam. Oh my god, where is he? You know, because he gets like that. Oh, they got the red. That means I got the green. And by I got the green, I mean the uh, light above me was green. Flashing advanced. So yeah, I had a weird experience with the romper today. After I was done dicking around with the lawn mowing and stuff, I had to park the romper back in the garage and I decided oh, I'll just take her for a quick little boot around the backyard. Freaking put her in fifth gear and the son of a bitch catwalks 
uh, the front end came off the ground real quick and then it was back down. It wasn't like I could sustain a catwalk with it or anything. But uh, sure as shit, she freaking catwalks off the ground. And she's scooting around the backyard like nothing's wrong with it. Like the belt's not slipping or anything. Like it's just working awesome. So I don't know. One thing I do know is that freaking Dynamark, the romper, is in way better condition than my friggin' mower. Way better condition. I'm gonna have to do some tune-ups on that friggin' mower. Maybe replace a spark plug or 10 and replace uh, the oil. Maybe, well, the airbox is pretty clean when I checked it, so that shouldn't be required. It's a Chrysler 300 in front of me. I'm not sure. It looks like a Chrysler 300 headlights, maybe. Oh, you guys can't tell. Yeah, it's Chrysler 300. So yeah, tomorrow's Labor Day and my dad's doing a huge ass picnic down at the waterfront with the Labor Day Council and basically uh, told me I should go down there and I told Jules about it because well, she has four kids, right? So go down, free hot dogs and pop and freaking, I think they got popcorn and hamburgers and they got bouncy castle rides for the kids and all sorts of different shiznit for them to do. So. I went there last year, if you watch uh, my vlog last year around this time, I went to the Labor Day Council picnic and it was alright and things, but I don't know. I might go tomorrow, Dad wants me to go and film some of it for the vlog, trying to promote it and things, and so I might go down there and just stuff a couple snippets in of bouncy castles and birds and dogs and all sorts of things, but they're, usually they're way too busy, you know, cooking and shelling out foods and all that crap to people so they don't have time to actually sit there and, and chit chat. Oh. Ah, we might do that tomorrow. I might bug Jules and be like, hey let's go to the, the friggin picnic thingamajig and, and, and it'll be awesomer than friggin. You know her kids are all small enough where they can go in the bouncy castles so that'd be alright. I'm too big I jump in a bouncy castle and the some bitch deflates so that's no good for me but for, for little tykes it's perfect you know. It's friggin', friggin' mint, so it's, it's perfect. But, yeah, whatevs, eh? Whatevs. We'll see what we do tomorrow. I know Rex also wants to go for a romp. He asked me if I go to bed early tonight so I can get up early tomorrow and go for a romp. And I'm like, freak sakes, you're asking too much for me, bud. Here, I thought I would have to do some work on the uh, Dynamark, and apparently I don't. So, I don't know. I don't know. Then again, watch the belt will get wet and start slipping like a hooker. So, I don't know. But anyway, people, I'm almost home. I'm going to shut her down here, and we'll talk more when I get home. So until then, peace of the frig out. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's already 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm not doing anything else tonight. I'm probably going to go to bed. I'm pretty tired. And I just got off a Skype call here. That's why I'm wearing my headset. Just got off a Skype call with JP from Red Light. And uh, apparently he's now in that Prisoner Architect game. So that's kind of cool. So if I ever come across his character, I'm going to give him Maximum Security Prisoner. So he has a different jumpsuit. And if he's ever having a shower or eating food, he's getting the freaking electric chair. That boy's got to starve and stink. Just saying. So anyway, people, hopefully you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, you know where that like button is, or right down below. And, uh, you know, give it a clickety-clack. I like the kind. Leave a comment, because uh, I've been reading the comments. Just haven't been, you know, replying to them. I'm going to try and do some of that while this is rendering. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty much going to call it quits for now. So until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.